Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to edit video into Photoshop. So this is the poster I was working on. And as you can see, I've got some text in the, on the bottom. I have a barcode here and then I have concept and design by me. And then I have this rectangle. This is where I want to insert my video. So what you basically want to do is go to window and then timeline. This will pop up, create frame animation, and then you're going to click on here to create, convert this into a video timeline. Uh, so this is basically going to work like you, your um, Premiere Pro or whatever, uh, but you're still in Photoshop. So first of all, I'm going to import the video I want to use. I downloaded this from pexels.com. Um, they have all this free stuff. Um, it's really good. I really like them. And it's going to import this as a smart object. I'm going to add a clipping mask to it so that it's going to fit into my rectangle. And as you can see, it's going to play over like a video. Now we're going to add some cool effects to this. Um, uh, you can go to a filter, um, filter gallery. Let's make this bigger so we can see it better. Um, and we can basically apply all sorts of patterns and textures to it. I'm going to add a halftone pattern to it. And play around with the effect. I'm going to press OK when I'm happy with it. And this is what I'm getting. And it's still a video, so pretty cool. Um, I'm then going to go to filter noise and add some noise to it. Not too much. Um, after that, I'm going to go to adjustments and add a gradient map. Um, I'm going to make it into a clipping mask, so it's only going to affect my video. I'm going to click here and add the gradient map I want. I'm going to reverse it. I'll then copy this color code and I'll probably make my text into that same color. Um, looking pretty cool um, and basically it's still a video. <laughs> We're going to stretch these, these out to 10 seconds, which is the duration of the video. So we're going to make sure we have all our layers going up to 10 seconds. You can just, whenever you see this little symbol, just click and drag and it'll make your layers as long as the timing on here says. So look at how cool this is. We have a halftone pattern going on and a gradient map and some green. And that's basically it. We didn't do anything to it. We have a black background. Um, what we're going to do now is I think we could add some textures to it. Uh, this is one of my texture packs. Um, if you want, it's going to be linked down below. And I feel like we could add some grain. Resize it and then change the blending mode to whatever fits best. I feel like screen or light and work best work better when you have like a dark background going on. I'm going to reduce fill opacity, stretch this out to 10 seconds. And then I'll think I'm going to add some another texture. Maybe like a photocopy texture will look cool. Let's stretch it out, change the blending mode. This looks pretty nice. Lower the opacity and finally I feel like I want to add um, some sort of plastic texture. 
So I'm just going to resize this. Um, I think I have to darken this a little bit, so I'll just slide this over like this. And then I'm going to merge these two layers together. And then we're going to repeat the same process. This I might just want into the video, so I'm going to place it right over here and make it into a clipping mask so that it's just going to affect our video part. And lastly, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of blur to my text. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, Ripple. Just add a bit of ripple to my text. You can see the preview over here. And that's basically it. So to render your video out, you just click on this little arrow here at the bottom. And you can choose where to save it. The quality, the document size, the name, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. You click on render and your video is going to be exporting. Now it's such a cool effect. It's Photoshop is just amazing, guys. You can basically do any type of editing onto this. Um, the important thing is that you make sure your video remains a smart object so you never have to rasterize it. As soon as you rasterize it, it basically transforms your video into an image. So let's wait until the video is rendered so that we can see if everything looks good or not. Um, it's taking a while just because we're exporting in pretty high quality. Um, so if you lower the quality, um, the export is going to be faster also depends on the computer you have so don't worry if it takes a little bit it's also pretty complex effect because we added a lot of filters to this so it's normal that it's going to take a little bit longer so let's see pretty cool And yeah, that's basically it. You can work with any video in Photoshop. You can place multiple videos into one. Um, it's really cool. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, feel free to comment down below if you have any tutorial suggestions. And yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.